morning, Year 8. I'm Sophia Wild and I'm campaigning for Head Girl. In the words of Gandhi, the future depends on what we do in the present. This is why I believe voting for me in the present will ensure us the brightest future. Each of you have a voice, and if elected, I'll ensure your voice is heard. We spend a lot of time within school, and only 70% of you think it is its worth. Isn't this ridiculous? Just to the amount of time we spend here, I believe we need to enjoy it and make the most of these experiences. Therefore, I intend to carry out surveys and to personally take any inquiries you have to identify your problems and aim to put them right. The sole reason for applying for Head Girl is for me to ensure you enjoy secondary school and get the most from it. My qualities consist of being approachable. This means you can talk to me about anything, any inquiries you have, I'm the one for you. I'll work with my team, whoever they may be, in order to make these years some of the best memories of your lifetime. Secondly, I'm enthusiastic. The assembly I will have with you, it won't just be the same presentation about self-improvement and leadership I know all of you want to get out of. I'm trustworthy. You say it, I'll try and make it happen. I'll discuss your ideas with my team to identify the most suited outcome. I've sat with you guys sat countless times, and trust me, in year eight, I would not want to be doing a speech right now. I used to be like you, not having a clue what I wanted to be, what college I wanted to go to, or even if I want to go to uni. Life is full of choices, and we often change our minds a lot. Year one, want to be a pop star. Can't sing. Year two, heart set on being a vet. Of course, at that age, I didn't know what biology was, and now I wish I didn't know what biology was. By year 10, I realised who I re really was, and I didn't want any limits. When they were put out in front of me, I think, why well, can't I rise above that? And I think our school motto of Beyond Expectations really shows you can prove you're better than the target grade, or a mark in a paper, who people judge you as, or even what people expect you to be. I think at this age, you will come across hard times, and you will be judged and misunderstood. You will have to make choices you don't want to make, and you, there will be great opportunities for you. You can do anything once you put your mind to it. This year, I have really pushed myself academically. Who knows? You could become an astronaut, or the next Beyonce. And by being head girl, and hopefully a role model, I want to guide you through this journey. Thank you, and vote for me. Hello, Year 10. I feel like I shouldn't have to introduce myself to you guys. The majority of you have known me for years. But seeing as somebody in this year group asked me what my name was the other day, my name is Lizzie Howell, and I've been here since Year 7. Meeting me four years ago, or longer, means that most of you have already made your judgments as to whether you like me or not, which is cool, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. However, this does mean it is incredibly difficult for me to persuade you that you should vote for me, so I guess I'm just going to ask you nicely. When I was first offered the opportunity to apply for Head Girl, I felt conflicted as to whether I should. Part of me immediately wanted to try, but I somehow managed to talk myself out of it. To be honest, I was scared. But when I got closer to the deadline, I found myself filling out the application and handing it in. I had to at least give it a go. If I didn't succeed, then nothing would have been lost and I would have done all I could. Somehow, and with a lot of support from two other amazing candidates, I got this far. And I want to be your head girl more than ever. Sometimes the fear of doing something is exactly why you should put in the effort. You just have to do your best until the ball is out of your hands. And to those of you who have ever seen me play any sport involving any coordination, you'll know the ball is always out of my hands. I've done all I can and now it's up to you. I've been asked to tell you my aims and what I'd like to achieve if I were to be head girl of Fram Academy. I should also be telling you it makes me a good leader. Unfortunately, I don't exactly have a long list of things I think I'm good at. I could ramble about what you have said, that I'm a good listener, reliable, hardworking and easy to talk to, but what's the point in that if you don't already agree? I can, however, tell you things I know are true. I'm here because I want to change people's opinions of us as a school. People hear Fairham Academy or see our uniforms and instantly feel we are less than what we seem. What's up with that? Looking around the room, I can see so many people I know will go beyond those expectations and succeed in whatever they wish to do. I want other people to be able to see that too, be it prospective parents or our future year sevens. My biggest wish is for people to be continually impressed with what we achieve. Maybe when other people are impressed with what we achieve, we'll start acknowledging it ourselves. But that's only going to happen if we show them. So that's why I'm here. I want to show them on behalf of you, my friends, classmates, and even those of you who didn't know my name. I'm not immensely popular or sporty. I'm not a genius and my jokes are permanently terrible. Basically, I'm just a normal girl in year 10 who really wants to be your head girl. So this is me asking you nicely. Thank you. Before I start, I'm just going to warn you all that I'm kind of nervous. And I mean, why wouldn't I be? 
There's something oddly intimidating about standing in front of hundreds of students you see every day and telling them why they should vote for you. Furthermore, I'm up against two incredible candidates that are close friends of mine. As most of you know, I'm quite a quiet individual, and speaking in front of you all really doesn't come naturally to me. But I'm the same as most of you, and I'm determined to represent you. We all know that not all world leaders are exactly popular, but that doesn't make them bad candidates for the job. When I was first presented with the possibility of being head girl, I was unsure. There seemed to be 30 candidates so much more obvious than me. But then I realised, the head girl should represent all the girls in the school. The outgoing ones, the studious ones, even the funny ones. I was hoping I'd be able to do that. Now I have a lot of ideas and aims that I would love to put forward as the role, with the role as head girl, but my main aim would be simply to get your voice heard. This is because it was only the other day that I found out we even have a school council. For a group of people shouting out for change, we can barely hear the whisper. Now every day I hear grumbles. A small thing here, a small thing there. They all seem to add up. I would be honoured to play a role in the team that tackles this dilemma. I guess now I should say what you should vote for me. And wow, isn't it really awkward listing all the things that you're good at? But firstly, I'd always try my hardest at any task that this role presents me with. And I always try to make time for it and persevere to my best ability. So whether as deputy or as head girl, I would be honoured to be part of the student leadership team. Thank you for listening. And when you vote tomorrow, please consider me as head girl. Hello everyone, I'm Josh Osborne, as many of you probably know, and I'm running for head boy. Now I'll be honest, I've not got much right on this bit of paper because I'm not the most organised person and I'm not the best writer. So I'm just going to tell you how I feel, what I want to do, and then leave. I've seen a lot of people saying a lot of big words previously. I'm just going to put it simple. I want to do some good for the school in this next year. I hope you think I can do good. Now. I value three main things, first of which is decency. I believe everyone should be decent and respectful to each other. Next thing is friendship. I don't think you can get anywhere without friends. You need friends in life. That's, it's that simple. Final thing is hard work. Your teachers will probably tell you everyone has to work hard to get somewhere in life. Now, my vision for the school is to make school more fun and enjoyable for people. I know that people don't necessarily enjoy school as much as they get a good education, they get good grades, they still don't enjoy it. So I would like to make it more fun, make you want to come to school and enjoy yourself every day. Now, I'd like to speak a bit about Ross and Ryan. Both eat uh, be worthy head boys, uh, both A-star students, perfect candidates. But I personally think I'd be better for the job. This is because I'm more willing, more determined and more hardworking than them. And I believe that I will make the school a better place and a more enjoyable place for you. Now, finally, please vote for me tomorrow, or at least consider me as your head boy. I've been Josh Osborne. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I see some familiar faces in here, but for those of you who don't know me, I'm Ross Tinney. Let me start off by telling you why I think I would be right for this role. I'm a team player, which is key in working with the student leadership team. However, I also know what it takes to lead. I'm confident in my abilities, and I will fulfill this role as best I can if given the chance by you. You can approach me, you can trust me, and you can tell me if you have an issue with the school, and I'll try to improve it. Currently, I don't want to stand here and promise you things concrete, because I can't promise, I can't promise that. But I can promise that I will listen to all of your opinions, help voice them, and fight for the changes that you would like to see made in this school. I would like to look into raising the awareness of extracurricular activities, as it would be great to get more of you guys involved. I believe that this is something we can work on. Also, I think that parents should be made more aware of what we do at Fairham Academy. We are an outstanding school and we need to let that show. Many students and people don't realise that we're a great school and we need to do something to change that. As well as this, I want to make the student leadership positions seem more desirable to you guys, so that when it comes to your turn, all of you will want to apply. This year there was not that many applications for head boy and girl. I myself had doubts about going for head boy, but here I am in front of you guys because I've realised that opportunities don't come often and you've got to take them whilst you can. These are just a few aspects of the school I thought that could be improved. You might have other ideas and I think I'd be the perfect person to take these ideas and turn them into a reality. I believe that I'm very well suited to this role and the best choice. I hope that you can help me show it.
So vote for me tomorrow. I'm Ross Tinney. Thanks for your time. Good morning, Year 7. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Ryan Crooks, and I've been privileged with, privileged with the opportunity to run for head boy this year. Now, from a student's perspective, I believe, and so do many others, that we are a great school. We are well supported in our lessons. For the past few years, our results have been improving dramatically, and we have a rating of good from Ofsted. Generally, I feel uh, happy to be a member of this school community. But could it be made even better? Now, I do sometimes feel that we are seen but not heard. Do you feel that you have much of a voice in the school? And do you wish that you'd be given the opportunity to have more of an influence on what goes on? If elected head boy, it would be my duty to increase the influence of students upon school matters. One idea is to utilise the extended tutor period, which we'll be returning next year, to assign a student leadership team member to each year seven tutor group. That would be a prefect. Um, every fortnight, the prefect would gather your opinions, your suggestions, and your views on new school policies and take them directly to the head teacher. This would provide an opportunity for everyone to have a positive input towards the school, whether that be you would like to set up a new extracurricular activity, you and your friends would really like to run, if you're having a personal issue with someone and you'd like some action on that, or if there is a general serious problem affecting all of us that needs to be addressed. But am I the sort of person that could make this idea happen? Well, I know I have the right combination of determination, organisational ability and drive to make something like this work. And if I really believe in something, I will see it through to a conclusion. You wouldn't need to think twice about coming to me personally with an idea or an issue because I am an approachable character who will listen to you and respect your thoughts. I also understand that some of you have recently been to a trip to Fairthorn Manor and from the uh, perspective of an aspiring head boy, I see these opportunities as a great chance to expand the student leadership team's abilities to outside of school itself. This would allow us personally to gain further leadership traits by helping out, but also help to represent the school as a whole. And I know coming to secondary school may have been a challenge for some of you, especially those like me who came here with very few friends from my primary school. To help with these sorts of situations, I would like to support the New Year 7s upon their arrival to Fairham Academy with the Prefect team to help make their transition from primary school to secondary school easier. Thank you for listening to my thoughts and aims, and please consider me as your head boy when you're voting tomorrow. Thank you.